Hey there, welcome to the Proud Animator YouTube channel. So in this lesson, we are going to animate a sumo wrestler using Twig Bezel plugin. So let's start. So here we are ready with the illustration file of the sumo wrestler and here is the reference layer. I will use it as a reference to put the structure layer of Twig Bezel over each of the corresponding illustrated files. So first of all, I will create the structure layers in Twig Bezel and I will select Humanoid. So the human art structure layer has been created and after that I will select each of the structure layers and put it above the illustrated files. I will do the same for the other structure layers as well. Okay, so all the layers, all the structure layers has been placed properly over each of the illustrations. So after that, I will just rearrange the layers because later on we are going to parent each of the illustrated file with this corresponding structure layers. So let's start with the body first. So right now we are going to parent each of the illustrated layer with the structure layer. Suppose this thigh layer will be parented with the structure thigh and in the same way I am just going to do it for the other layers as well and for these hips I will just parent it with the thighs. Okay, so all the layers are parented, so I will select all the structure layers, but before that I will just delete this reference layer, we don't need it anymore. So I will select all the structure layers, you can just select it one by one, or you can come over here in Wick, Bezel, and here is an option, select structure layer, it will select all the structure layers and just come over here and click on auto rig. It will just automatically rig your character in IK. Now let's check our rig first if it's working perfectly fine or not. Yeah, it's working properly and let's even check. So I will just parent this head layer with the neck and now check it. Well, yeah, it's looking pretty fine to me and after that what I will do is I will just simply select the controllers and the hand controllers. I will simply select this hand and just parent it with the left cap layer over here, uh, I mean over here, this one. Okay, so I have, I did it because I want the hand to move with the cap layer because we are going to animate the sumo wrestler. Uh, suppose it's just preparing for a fight. So basically it will slam over the ground. So that's why. Okay, so right now I will again select all the structure layers and just shy it out. Okay, and even I will select this all the uh, all the illustrated files and I will just lock it and simply shy it out. Alright, so let's proceed with our animation. So right now let's proceed with the animation. I will select the body layers and neck as well as all the foot and hand layer I mean the controller layers and I will just open the position property, put a keyframe and open the rotation property and put a keyframe as well and I will jump on to next 4 frames. After that I will just 
move the body slightly I will just lower the body slightly because it will just anticipate a bit before slamming on the ground slide something like this okay so after that I will just jump on to next 10 frames and I will just move it above and I will just rotate it as well and in the similar way I will just just put a proper position for this foot as well as for the neck as well After that I will jump on to the next 10th frame and just put the initial keyframes. So I will just fill in the gaps where there isn't any keyframes. Ok right now let's easy is it. I will just press F9 and not only that I will also Add, uh, add some overshoot as well at the end because when it is just falling down it will not happen like that it will just bounce back or slightly come down and again just get back to its neutral pose for that I will jump on to next 4 frames put exactly same frames and again next 3 frames and this will be the neutral pose so I will just separate the dimensions and select everything and go on to the motion graph editor so I will just uh, fix the graphs as you know sometimes these bumps some bump like this happens so that's why I will just simply fix it I will just again easy is it just pressing F9 okay so right now let's check our animation I think it's very slow we can just speed it up a bit so I will just move it two frames before perfect again check it out yeah it's looking pretty nice now so right now I will just add some overshoot in the rotation property as well so it will just rotate slightly in the opposite side like this not this much but give it a slight rotation about minus 6 degrees or minus 4 ok and again it will just rotate in the opposite side So right now if we just slightly offset it, let's check it out how it looks like. Yeah, it's perfect and if we offset the foots as well, I mean this one, first of all let's offset the whole body with one frame. So first the foot will go up and then the body will go up. Yeah, it's looking pretty nice now. Okay, so like this you can also animate the foot for the other side as well. The process is exactly the same. So if you do it, it will look something like this. And you can also add some detailing. You can add face, head uh, and also add extra animation to the hairs and ears if you want to. So I would highly recommend you to try it on your own and let me know how it turned out. So that is it for this lesson. If you like the video then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the video then make sure to comment down below. I will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.